As the accusation and counter accusation continue, including denials, Plus TV Africa Osalge Ogboa examines the development in this report. It has been very interesting these few days in Nigeria's political scene as the government tries to probe and uncover alleged mismanagement of funds in the Niger Delta Development Commission. In a televised public hearing live broadcast, it was a verbal war between the House of Reps Committee and the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Godswil Akbabio, where the latter accused the lawmakers of bullying him with their questions, leading to him making some grave allegations of receiving awards from the NDDC. It is important that people who have gone to court, people who genuinely did jobs, should be paid for their jobs. So for me, I'm not against it because uh, of course, who are even the greatest beneficiaries? It's two people now. Okay. Because if you look at your, your chairman, your chairman okay, gave... Okay, honorable minister. Uh, 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 honorable uh, minister, that's okay. okay. That's okay. No, can I payment. ask you that question? That's, what is the benefit uh, that the National uh, Assembly is benefiting from? It's okay, it's okay. Goma, uh, Goma is are okay. you asking me? In response to the allegations, Speaker, House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Miller, threatened to sue the Niger Delta Minister, Godswilak Babio, if he fails to prove the NDDC awarded contracts to them. This is my fifth term here. I've never once collected anything from the National Assembly. And I know I speak for a great majority of members of this House. Great, great majority. And because of that, I will take this matter and this allegation and accusation very serious. And I will give the minister 24 to 48 hours. And Clark, I want you to back this up with a letter from this house. To give the minister 24 to 48 hours to publish the names, the contracts so given, the dates, because obviously these things will be documented. Unveil the companies of the 60% projects that were given to members of the National Assembly. Failing, with, failing which, failing which, this house will bring the full wrath of the law. There are laws in our books. On Thursday, 23rd of July, the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, in a swift response, in a letter to the National Assembly, denied statements credited to him, accusing members of the National Assembly of being beneficiaries of about 60% of contracts awarded. But while under oath, as he answered questions from the investigative committee, this is what the Niger Delta Minister had to say. You just said... I just told you that we have record to show that most of the contracts in NDDC are given out to members of National Assembly, but no, you don't know about it. It's but okay. The two That's okay. It. It's okay. It. You, it's okay. The two, okay. Chairmen, the two chairmen can explain to you. That is why I was no, a member. No, 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 no. I was don't a member of the that NDDC you. committee. It's and okay. It's okay. It's okay. You were a member of the NDDC and not of... Uh, wait, you were a member of the NDDC in the 8th Assembly. Yes. And are you telling me that lots of jobs were awarded to you as a no, member? No, this is a problem. That's why I said you then must you change... have the right to accuse people. Then you why must, can you bring, it, can bring you, up can the you people that... To me? One of the chairmen if also... you were not awarded a contract, then why are you coming here that you are aware that you were a member of the NDDC and lots of contracts were awarded to this? You I, said I, I'm, not, I'm not aware. I'm telling may, you may that. I, bring may, up those names. May I inform my honourable sister that that is why we have uh, to change the rules of Honourable Honourable Minister Felix, it's okay. That is okay. That is okay. But let me explain. No, it's okay. As it stands, Nigerians are eager to know what the truth really is concerning these allegations. And if found to be false, will the Niger Delta minister be punished for committing perjury, or will it just pass as mere theatrics? Reacting to the back and forth between the two parties is a legal practitioner, Liboris Oshoma, who described Akbabio's denial as faulty and untenable. He also expressed pessimism on the possible logical conclusion and the probe. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit taken aback um, that uh, the minister will uh, hurriedly eat his words uh, because um, everybody heard him when he said that uh, members of the National Assembly, you know, um, 
you know, some members of the National Assembly collected contracts from the NDDC and that they have the names and the list. So now that it's been, it's been asked, the National Assembly members, even if, you know, let's assume they even have immunity and the Speaker had waived that immunity to say, look, give us the names of these persons. And I had expected that immediately, you know, the minister will reel out the names and that the names should be in the public domain by now. But unfortunately, that these names are not there. And, and so you begin to wonder, so were there names at all? If you remember also, for the chairman of the committee, Olumide Ojo, at the House Committee on the um, NDDC, Tujo Ojo, and they, uh, initially they had alleged, the uh, Fenton uh, acting MD did allege that uh, he was awarded a contract in, in April. And being a first-time uh, House of Rep member, he came on board in June. And so one was wondering at what point was he awarded contract? Was it before he became a member of the House? And then when the Akpabio eventually came, Akpabio said no, that uh, it wasn't him. And that is, he was not one of those who was uh, awarded contract. And, and so I, I think that um, the, the uh, minister understands the minds of Nigerian. And so to deflate the issues, you know, he went straight to the, at the jugular of the members of the National Assembly. Because if he did, I'm not trying to defend members of the National Assembly because I believe a lot of them also, that's what they do. But I also believe that if he had indeed had names, he should have published them. And if he's not publishing the names, like we say in law, if you allege and you withhold those information, it means in the, in the first place, you, you never had you know, that information. You know, we should expect that uh, the legal action will still take place. Nothing will come out of it. Now, for me, it's a drama. Um, we, from, from what had been um, seen back and forth, I, I describe it as, um, you know, um, a movie, uh, How Nigerians Underdevelop Nigeria. Uh, that's the title of the movie. And, and so what we basically play out, you saw what happened between the National Assembly um, and the first of Kiamo, the Minister for State for Labor, and then how the senior minister came, and he came and apologized. And uh, So that's basically what we play out. And so we, we had expected before now that it was PDP that used to settle their matter you know, as a family matter. But today, um, even the APC, we have discovered that it follows suit. And so, what will basically play out? Now he has written a letter. Maybe at night a meeting will be called, and then um, banters will be thrown, whether Mushin boy or Ikoi boy. And then, at the end of the day, everybody would shed their sword. And all of these fireworks that we're expecting, you know, will um, we'll take the back seat. Just the same way, I do not expect anything to come from, you know, um, the, the probe from the National Assembly. Because if you remember, what is basically playing out here is that the National Assembly, the end, uh, Interim Management Committee and the Minister is talking about NDDC before the Interim Management Committee. Why the National Assembly is talking about NDDC from the tenure of the Interim Management Committee. Both are culpable, but what is playing out is that you see Nigerians are divided, you know, we've taken side. Rather than look at the holistic issues of how money is meant for the development of Niger Delta through an intervention agency, you know, was mismanaged by people who are supposed to hold forth that agency in trust for the people. Nobody's looking at that. We're talking about the revelation. And then, knowing this government for what it is, a government that is not used to respecting resolutions of National Assembly, indeed, they have described it you know, at some point that they are, mere, they are mere advisory. And knowing the government for what it is, I doubt if they will, you know, go ahead to even listen to the commendation because they have held on to their guns that uh, the IMC is, whether legally or not. And so whatever the National Assembly would say, unfortunately, the National Assembly does not have, you know, implementation power. Uh, they can only, maybe tomorrow, you know, decide not to pass budget for those agencies. But like we all know, by the time they sit at the round table to discuss the family affair, we'll be back to where we were. And that's why the executive we never, never take the National Assembly, you know, seriously.